hello virgo welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit okay so let's see what's going on for you guys virgo all right what's going on for virgo spirit sun moon rising venus north node please give me clear messages for virgo what are the messages here for virgo what do you need Virgo to know at this time? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have protection, salt, okay. Some of you guys could be doing protection rituals or you need to do one, okay. Some of you guys are being protected right now from something. What else? What else for Virgo? Thank you. Intuition. Okay, bottom of the deck is bond. I keep getting this bond for everybody. Somebody could be trying to bind you to them here. Um, some of you guys have had an issue with um, listening to your intuition or your intuition has been blocked for a while. Maybe now you finally are um, being free from something so that way you can finally hear your intuition. <laughs> Or hear what spirit is trying to tell you. Excuse me. Okay. And you're being protected from somebody that's trying to block your intuition here. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Let's see. Some of you guys have uh, very strong gifts. Okay. So you are protected at this time. From people trying to spiritually attack you. So what else for Virgo spirit? Clarify this message here for Virgo. What is going on for Virgo? Okay, bottom of the deck is unfazed. Yeah, you, you're you not being bothered with whatever this is or you're ignoring it. You know how to um, not really combat the energies, but you know how to switch things around so you can continue to do what you need to do in your life you're just not letting nobody get to you here you're not letting nobody steer you wrong you're listening to your intuition and you're protected on your journey your path okay whatever you're trying to do what else for virgo yeah so somebody around you is causing drama they're definitely trying to keep you in a low vibrational state yeah, you're moving out. We have moving with the boxes on the car. So you could definitely be moving. Okay, then we have a uh, busy, late schedule. So you could just be um, having time management issues or you could be um, really busy with a lot of things here. Okay, really busy with a lot. Okay, we have bad habits, drugs, addictions, toxicities. Bottom of the deck is force. It forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Yeah, travel. So some of you guys are moving. You're moving. You could be moving with someone here. Okay, there's somebody maybe that you want to be with, that you maybe hesitated to, to be with at first, but I feel like now you see clearly about something. Um, there could also be somebody in your energy that you are being protected from that is trying to... I feel like if this person does have, have addictions or they get high or get really drunk, they start acting out. I don't know what the fuck they be doing. But I feel like you're moving away from that type of shit. And you're unfazed. You're not letting this shit bother you because you're going to keep moving to regardless. You're not letting this person steer you in a new direction like they have before is what I'm getting. Yeah, so let's see. What's going on with the unfazed card for Virgo? Please and thank you, Spirit. What is this unfazed card? Virgo. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the chariot. You're um, pushing through obstacles here. You're moving forward. You're not letting nothing stop you from doing something. Just period. What is unfazed? What is unfazed? Spirit, one more. Okay, thank you. So we have the half and reverse. Could be dealing with the Taurus, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So I feel like after a time of going through a divorce or a breakup, I feel like you're finally getting things back in order 
and, and in good shape maybe with your health i'm hearing too i don't know why i just heard something about your health could have been affected by whatever this is you could have been very moody or depressed or just down but now i feel like you're standing in your power you're standing in your truth about how you feel king of cups okay you could have definitely been married but i feel like you could be single now because the half in the reverse is the uh, ending of a commitment this could also mean um stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something that other people might not like for you to do here you're not a conformist you're going to do whatever the fuck you want and i feel like that's the life that you're going to live <laughs> from now on because you could be teaching other people how to be how to um be liberated like you just feel liberated you feel free of something or somebody does Okay, and as you're moving out of whatever this is, you're being protected as well. But the Hierophant in Reverse could talk about, um, there's a decision with the Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant in Reverse. It could talk about a decision that you're needing to make about maybe about your finances. You're trying to get your finances back in order after this long-term commitment. But there could be a decision that you need, you're needing to make, but you could be fearing judgment or fearing something is what I'm picking up. Or you're worried about being judged for not making a decision that everybody else wants you to make. But I feel like you don't give a fuck anymore. You're going to choose what you want. And you're going to have to break a couple hearts to do it. Yeah, to choose yourself. Healing. Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you're choosing yourself. Okay, you're making these big life changes to um, do what you have to do. To become the star in your own story. To become the hero in your own fucking story. Okay, you're not going to let this heartbreak get you down. I feel like you're trying to push through this heartbreak. Definitely take the time out to heal, though. Sit down with yourself and work through your emotions, okay? Don't just push yourself to the point where it's like you're moving on to the next phase. It's not going to work if you do that. Anyways, you have to sit down and heal yourself first, okay? Or it's just take your time. No rush. Spirit's going to let you know when it's time for you to do something else, okay? But what's... um. Yeah, I feel like you're planning for something. Some of you guys could be planning for a reconciliation or there's a big celebration here. Something that's going to cause for a celebration. What's this um, two of pentacles? So I feel like you're trying to adapt to certain changes here. Maybe you might not be. Yeah, thank you, spirit. The death card in reverse could be dealing with the Scorpio. So you could not be good with changes. There's something here that you need to change. The hierophant in reverse could talk about old patterns and old belief systems that needs to change. And the death card in reverse could talk about being scared of change, scared to transform or something like that. Yeah, ten of swords. There's something here that you need to let go of or let, let you need to let something die out. Just let it go. You could be acting like you don't care, but maybe there's something internally that you do still care about that you need to heal. Just period. What's the king of cups? The king of cups is usually somebody that feels deeply. They're very caring and compassionate and very empathetic as well. Wow the queen of cups so yeah six of cups this is somebody from your past life with the death card now that i'm seeing this this is somebody that you can't get rid of well damn i didn't mean to say can't get rid of i meant to say that you can't let go of <laughs> but you can't get rid of this person either they could be your twin so they're going to always be around in some shape form or fashion even energetically but uh there could be balance and shit coming back into a relationship here but I feel like there's old ways and shit like that that needs to be changed. Because I feel like somebody's giving you their cup of love, but you've been hesitant to give um, yours to them. Somebody here is very fixed. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. They don't, they don't, they're not good with change or trying to adapt to new things. It's hard for this person. They're very fixed. They're very routine as well. Could be dealing with the Taurus. We're very routine. Yeah, but you have a strong emotional bond with somebody. So all this acting like you're unfazed or unbothered, it's not working for neither one of you. <laughs> it's really not. So, Or this could be a situation that you're unfazed about. You're unfazed about this commitment that you're leaving or this home situation that you're leaving. You just don't give a fuck and you're going to be with your person. Because you can't let them go. There's somebody just, that just cannot let you go here. They want to balance things out. They want to fix it. You might have to make a decision when it comes down to this person, Virgo. But what's total drama? Okay, Page of Swords came out. What's total drama with the Page of Swords? Okay, Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Wands. So automatically I'm picking up too that uh, somebody's dealing with somebody that's very money hungry, very superficial. Somebody could have been in a relationship for finances only. 
for stability only. And now that somebody wants to move away, there's fighting, there's arguing, there's like competition or something like that because somebody else is getting left out in the cold. Uh, okay, somebody's getting, somebody's walking away. Just period. They're going to leave somebody out in the cold. Um, I just feel like you're watching somebody. You're pitying somebody. Somebody's acting a goddamn fool. I feel like you're watching them act out <laughs> and act stupid while you're moving on because you're not, you're not being bothered with it. But, um, Whoever this is, right, this page with the page of swords, I feel like you're telling someone off here. You're defending yourself. You're fighting against injustice. The page of swords upright is somebody that fights against injustice. For some of you, you have an air sign child, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or somebody could be um, maybe just a bit immature or maybe younger than you or something like that. But th this could be somebody here that you were married to. Maybe you have a kid with this person with the page of swords. This person is going to reach out. I feel like whoever this is is starting this drama is watching you and so is your person. So there's there's two people watching you here and they're fighting and shit like that. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is like a scam artist or somebody here that's just a gold digger. Somebody's just money hungry and I feel like they're going to reach out to ask for something. I feel like it's going to start a fight. You don't want to give this person anything and you don't want to be with this person. Page of Swords, let's see, because that can mean a lot. What's this Page of Swords right here, Spirit? Yeah, the Six of Swords. So moving on to calmer waters here. Some of y'all definitely traveling. You're moving out. You're moving on. Okay, there's some communication coming in. There's there's like a loss of finances too. Somebody lost a lot of money. So I feel like somebody has their eye on you, but they're not stable financially. And they still have some drama going on here. But I feel like there's an energy of moving on to calmer waters because they know that you're their person. You're their match. So I feel like they're trying to move forward, but they could be stressed or burdened or weighed down by something that they're dealing with behind the scenes. Could be just a loss of money. Somebody just is not stable in their life. They could be going from place to place or whatever the fuck, but I feel like they're really busy. But this person wants to reach out to you and hopes to move things to calmer waters, it looks like. Somebody's being guided to get away from the drama. The page of swords can mean paranoia or somebody's scared to do something or say something. But I feel like they're, they're being guided to do this and move forward because it's not healthy. It's not a healthy environment that somebody is in. Yeah, they're being guided to listen to their intuition and find a resolution through all the chaos. What's this uh, nine of pentacles in reverse? Somebody, I feel like they're scared to move forward because they don't have any money. So that could be what's scary. So they're, they're trying to learn how to have faith. And that's what's hard for this person. Their faith is, faith is wavering. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Six of, six of cups in reverse. So somebody's letting go of um, somebody from their past. Maybe somebody that they grew up with. Okay. Um, yeah. Just period. <laughs> six of cups is definitely removing anything from the past that was uh, causing... I'm hearing something about trauma bonding. So somebody here was just trauma bonding with someone. It was, I don't know, because the Six of Cups can mean that you have history with somebody and really history doesn't mean anything, to be honest. So somebody's trying to let go of the past and move forward and that's what they're doing. They had a rose tinted like view of the past at one point and now they're seeing something. They're realizing something about someone. They're just dramatic. You guys will be seeing Six, Six, Six. Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups came out. So there's like drama or competition or fighting. What's this five of wands about? Somebody's growing up. Yeah, the sun. Something's been exposed. And so somebody's going towards new. They're going to, to do something else. They're not going to be bothered with this. Just period. Somebody is growing up. They're finally leaving this home situation. It's like, yeah, but something has been illuminated. For some of you, it could be about some children as well. Something definitely about kids here or kids can be involved in this situation somehow in this drama. Okay, but definitely somebody is choosing to go towards their happiness and heal their inner child. They're not going to keep fighting with this person. Something is being illuminated about them anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it really doesn't even matter. So what's moving? What's this moving card here for um, Virgo? Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. So, um, like I said in the beginning, somebody could have been doing some spell work or they could be trying to do spell work to stop you from moving. They don't want you to move out because they know if you move out, the bills ain't going to get paid. Somebody's a lazy-ass bum. 
<laughs> and that's what I just feel like. Somebody's lazy as fuck. They don't have any money. So they're watching you or your person to try to figure out how can they keep you around. Somebody, because you've indulged in drama and shit with this person in the past, whoever this karmic energy is, they're going to keep doing it until you kind of like set boundaries. I feel like you're trying to or your person is trying to. But uh, you're moving forward anyway. Eight of Wands. This person could be trying to send you confusion spells or something like that. But I feel like you're moving forward. They're trying to blind you or stop you from making the right decision about where you're trying to go, or what you're trying to do. But I feel like you're moving forward with the Eight of Wands to regardless. And you're going to be stable. It might be making you nervous. Okay. But you're moving forward. You could be seeing 888 or 88. Somebody here, you've been feeling trapped in this shit for a while now, or you, you do still feel trapped in a way, but something is coming in quickly. There could be some communication coming in about a home. I feel like you need to communicate with people in silence, maybe keep your phone close to you because this person, I feel like they're the type that's going to sneak and they're going to get your mail and open it and throw away whatever they don't want you to see type of shit. I feel like that's this type of person, especially if you're living with them. What's the seven of cups? So you have options to move to a certain place maybe as well okay the judgment so yeah making a final decision about an option about a choice to do something so i feel like you somebody here has made a final decision here to move or to finally leave a situation behind here this is being spiritually guided and being led to something i feel like you're being guided to forgive your past so you can move forward into a prosperous life because you can't do that without forgiving so but this is definitely making a decision and learning some type of karmic lesson that was probably confusing to you or um, whatever this was. Somebody from your past, now that they're moving, they're trying to figure out how to um, get you to forgive them here. I feel like they're stuck in their head about this communication. Somebody is stuck trying to figure out how to communicate with you in the proper way so that way you guys can move on to karma waters is what I'm picking up too. What's this? What's this Eight of Swords? Okay, Queen of Swords. Yeah, because you have your guard up. You have your guard up. You're not fucking with this person. Because they, they took too long to leave somebody out in the cold here and turn their back on somebody. So it's like, well, damn, you took all this time to do that. Why? But I feel like it was something spiritual. This person had to go through the spiritual lesson before y'all came together anyway. Unless if y'all got together, this shit wouldn't have worked to regardless. So, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've set boundaries here. Maybe you made a final decision because you're so confused and you're stuck in your head about this person. You're moving on. And this is when, this is the time that they want your forgiveness or you're learning how to forgive here and set boundaries so you can move forward. Because I feel like you've been stuck in your head. You've been going back and forth whether you should leave this person out or not. And I feel like you are. because Or you're cutting this person off here. Or you're just setting strong boundaries, whatever. But you're doing something though. And it's... Is pushing you to move into a new direction. What's this Eight of Wands right here? Some of you guys could have been stuck with the Queen of Swords. Somebody that's like overly critical or they do, they're like um, very stern. They don't really give you space to be yourself. They are, um, the Queen of Swords could be somebody that is the mother of your children. They could be a, um, what's I going to say? They could be a divorcee. Somebody is, is divorced. What's the Eight of Wands? Okay, yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. So this is just giving me like past energy of somebody doing something impulsively. Somebody made an impulsive decision to work with somebody that they see now that they can't work with and they want your forgiveness for this. Or this is just you, you don't want to work with this person anymore. This is um, also I'm picking up, this is breaking a contract. So, so a contract has been broken so that way you can move forward. I feel like somebody's free from something. Three of Pentacles in reverse is realizing that somebody doesn't have as much work ethic as you. They don't want to put in the time and the effort into a commitment. They want to be a Knight of Wands. And I feel like you're ending the cycle out with them because they want to keep coming in and out or running back and forth and you're not dealing with it. So you're putting your guards up. You're setting boundaries and you're cutting people the fuck off. Three of Pentacles in reverse is... um. I'm hearing something about failure. So somebody here feels like they failed you or they, they failed or their little plan fail whatever this is that should fail miserably whoever that's trying to be malicious in the situation they definitely um barked up the wrong goddamn tree 
But this is somebody that just won't learn from their mistakes here. They could be trying to send you shit. They just keep not, they're not learning from something. What's this eight of wands with the three of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the chariot. So th whatever this was, was a blockage. With the char chariot in reverse, this is like a blockage here. Could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody did something off impulse. They did something really quickly and it turned out to be a hot ass mess. Now they're moving out or they're moving away from it. And you're just like, uh, no, I feel like you have your back turned to this person. The chariot in reverse could talk about um, not feeling too determined to do something or this is just what was in the way. This commitment that wasn't working to begin with, this is what was in the way of you and somebody is what I'm picking up. Or you and a work opportunity or whatever. You doing something that you wanted to do with when it comes down to your finances. The blockage was this contract. The blockage was somebody's finances. But it's because they, they had their finances tied with either somebody that they were married to or it was something here. Somebody like feels lost. They were like the trade in reverse is like a loss of direction. There's just somebody also that's forceful as well. Somebody's like very forceful on you or your person to make somebody here coerce somebody into getting into something that was just messy. Somebody has like a lack of self-control. They don't want to commit. Whoever this is, is not as non-committal is what I'm picking up as well. Hmm. Somebody's under judgment though. They're getting karma for whatever they, they did to try to cause confusion or illusions in your life with whatever you were trying to do, whether it's go back to somebody else or go towards a job opportunity. If they try to do that shit to you or your person, they ass is getting karma for it. Just period. So what is the schedule, busy, stress? What is this card? This time management card, spirit. Yeah. <laughs> what is this time management card? Mm, the devil just showed his face. Okay, the everything is fine card in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So there's been a lot of delays here due to somebody running around doing, doing shit. Like I just feel like somebody is um very busy. Something didn't work out for someone and they're tired of pretending like it's, it's okay, it's fine, and it's not. This person is trying to heal or this is you trying to heal. I feel like you feel, you feel like something is a waste of time. But somebody could be trying to bury themselves into work here to kind of like, um, you could, you guys could be seeing 12-12, that's on the clock right now. Um, Trying to bury their head into work to kind of like forget about something. They're saying that they're busy or whatever the fuck, but I feel like they're losing money. Somebody's like losing money. They're really impatient with things that are going on in their life. It's like somebody's in debt here really bad or they made a fi bad financial decision. For some of you guys, y'all could be in court with somebody where somebody's losing a lot of money. Whoever your opponent is, they're losing money. King of Swords of Justice, this could definitely be a lawyer or a judge or whoever. So the delays are, whatever situation this is, the delays are um, this court situation, this money problem, this, somebody's like trying to get their life together, but something has been blocking. King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, sometimes I see them as two divorced couples that don't like each other, they're very cold towards each other, they're cutting each other off. They're just, I, I just feel like whoever's on the bad side of this karma, they're, they're cutting this person off in a different way by being petty and malicious and vindictive. This is their way of trying to cut somebody, someone off. And the other person is setting strong boundaries and being the mature one in the situation. They're not being petty or anything. They just don't want to be around this person. And so I just feel like they're mad about it. Somebody's playing little mind games and trying to confuse someone here. <clears throat> That's what's going on. So somebody here could be a Libra. Somebody made a bad investment, man. So they're they going through it, whatever this is. Definitely a divorce <laughs> for a lot of you. If not, it's just something going on in court for somebody. So what's this? Um, but the, the justice is good karma. When it's upright, I feel like, well, it could be bad or good depending on whatever. But the judgment, there's definitely karma here, though. Somebody's getting bad karma. That's for a fact. But there's good karma. Something's going to be balanced out. And there's some truth and clarity going to come out about something here that's going to bring back some balance into a situation. It could be your finances or it could be just anything that's going on. There's relationship here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. It could mean any of that. So what's this bad habit spirit for Virgo? Okay, 
Okay, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, the strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. So yeah, whoever this is with these bad habits. Nine of Wands, the Two of Swords. Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So with the Ace of Cups, this, there's new love and the Ace of Wands. There's, there could be a new job opportunity coming in that's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. You're going to really love what you're doing. For some of you, this is about a relationship. This is new love coming in. Okay. <clears throat> you're going to have to make a decision probably between two people or you're just going to have to make a hard decision here. I feel like somebody's scared of the unknown, so they're guarded. But Spirit is telling you to be strong and to... um. Don't hold back from whatever this is. Take heed, take, take, um, take the opportunity for this new, this new uh, beginning, these new beginnings that's coming in. Don't let fear hold you back. For some of you, you're trying to heal certain things. There could be a sex addictions or drug, um, uh, or alcohol that somebody could be trying to, yeah, the temperance. So you could be trying to work on yourself right now and heal, but this is in preparation for maybe a reconciliation or. Something something to celebrate here, yeah. The lovers, the page of pentacles, the high priestess. So what's this two of swords right here? What's this two of swords? Because this could mean confusion or being guarded or not having all the answers to something. Yeah, so the hangman, you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is you um trying to shift your perspective about something. I feel like you're trying to learn how to open up or let your guards down because this is not going to work for these new beginnings. Just period. So you're gonna have to um you're going to always feel left out in the cold if you keep coming in with this Knight of Wands or this is your person. They keep coming in with this Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles energy. That's not going to work. Somebody needs to open up and stop being a player or stop wanting to, to be a player. For some of you guys, um, this is you looking at something as it, as it is. Like This is you um, get, receiving intuitive downloads to clear up this confusion as well. You could be being held back right now by spirit because there's something that you need to heal. I don't know if it's addictions or, or whatever this is. What is this nine of wands? Okay, nine of cups and the four of pentacles. You guys could be seeing nine, nine, nine. So, um, somebody's in their feelings about you here, Virgo. They want a family with you. But this could be this person here holding back or this is you holding back or holding on to something. There's something here that you need to let go of. I feel like somebody's in their comfort zone. Somebody's comfortable with, with pleasing themselves or giving themselves what they want. They're scared of these new beginnings. This is what it's giving me. Okay, somebody's holding on to something or it could be um, somebody's trying to save their money to um, move forward and get this wish fulfillment that they want. They're trying to shift their perspective or... Just make hard decisions that need to be made in order to get whatever this is. Because not processes are not going to be um, easy. <laughs> it's a process for a reason. So you have to go through certain challenges. So what else for Virgo? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is gratitude. Yeah. Gratuity increases attraction and opportunities. Little things count. Be grateful for all of your life. So somebody here is, is needing to do this. This could be what this is with the four of pentacles. Somebody has a lack mindset too. They're not used to having shit or they're not used to, um, they're just not used to a lot of good things. So this person tends to, when something goes bad, they're like, oh, well, fuck my life. <laughs> I'm just used to something going bad. So I'm just going to, you know, keep carrying that with me and it's not working for this relationship or whatever this is is trying to come in. What else for Virgo? All right, thank you, Spirit. So we have inspired thoughts. Alignment brings incredible ideas, new thoughts, new decisions, new immediate action, new reality. So somebody here is getting a reality check is what I'm picking up. Somebody's having like an aha moment. They're trying to become enlightened. So I feel like the more this person realizes that they show gratitude and, and thank Spirit for guiding them through this situation because i mean i'm not saying it could have been worse but you know what i'm saying you know show more love show more unconditional love regardless of what's happening i know it's hard to do but that's definitely love is the highest vibration so if you show love you're definitely going to get it back and if it ain't from a 3d person it's definitely from spirit but it looks like it's going to be happening in the 3d you just got to give it a chance 
Okay, it says write it down. The universe has received your order. Know and feel it's yours or done. Writing brings into physical form. So some, some of you guys need to do it like a vision board or write down, um, have an intuition journal or just write down your thoughts here. Some of you guys could be writers. I'm hearing something about a writer's block. So some of you guys were blocked from doing this here by dealing with this karmic. Somebody was stuck in a karmic relationship that was blocking their manifestations in, in regards to their career or whatever the fuck. Some of you guys could be definitely very, very, um, I was going to say very spiritual, but very creative. And I feel like you were being blocked by dealing with the wrong person. So it says nature's timing. Things need to occur in proper order when the time is right. Don't try to control the situation. Yeah, let divine timing play out. Let something grow how it's going to grow. Don't force it. Just let it be. Easier said than done. Somebody could have control issues. <clears throat> yeah, the four of pentacles could definitely mean that. Bottom of the deck is past programming. Choose your beliefs. Recognize false stories. External conditioning. Make decisions that support the goal. Yeah. Then we have limiting beliefs. So subconscious beliefs impede progress. Check in self. Shadow work rewire with subliminals. So yeah, somebody is trying to... um reprogram themselves i feel like somebody here was brainwashed to believe certain things about relationships or love that could be what the issue is or money could be they feel like they need to have money in order to have somebody love them and that's not true that's some bullshit that's why that's that's how a lot of people think nowadays it's really sad it's really actually sad but what else for virgo Bottom of the deck is energy work. It says life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Some of you guys could be a healer. You could do some type of energy work. You could be a um, Reiki healer is what I'm hearing. Okay. Some of you guys know how to do spell work. That could be your field. In divination, you do spell work for other clients. Could be anything. Bottom of the deck, yeah, focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So somebody here is scared to give because they don't want to be taken advantage of. This person doesn't want to be taken advantage of, so they break from you. They're scared of this connection, but I feel like you've proven yourself to this person. You've given them everything just for them to break from you. So now it's their turn and you're not feeding into it. They need to get rid of this stupid ass karmic or whatever the fuck. <laughs> like you're not going to keep giving to somebody that has a karmic around, <laughs> especially when you're doing the work and you're moving on. So this was your reading Virgo. Okay. Hopefully it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on to all. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys can be notified for when I um, post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.